At Two Point Hospital, over 52% of our patients believe they leave healthier than when they arrived. Hey guys, and welcome back. This is episode 10 in my Two Point Hospital Let's Play series. We just kicked off Tumble. Uh, we've got our nice fracture ward down here, our regular ward over here, although I might need to extend the size of that. We've got two GP's offices as well in the corner. Um, we have overloaded on the staff, that is not to say the least. But hopefully that won't be an issue because we're going to get a lot more people coming into our hospital shortly. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit play straight away. We've got a little bit of money in the bank, not a huge amount. Our reputation is poor, or fine I suppose, uh, rather than good. Um, but you know, we've got a few people coming in. I've got a nice reception area, a whole bunch of people in there. Um, I'm probably going to prioritise a little bit more than I have in the past. Some facilities. Um, both for my staff and for my patients because I do feel that maybe I haven't paid the most attention to them um, and to be honest you know I, I think that might be one of the main reasons they've been getting very grumpy with me so we've got a couple toilets in there a couple sinks one hand dryer should be enough shouldn't it big bin in the corner hand sanitizer if they're still not happy with the clean hands uh, yeah, a couple of radiators in there. I have a feeling it's very cold here. So there we go. So level three room, lovely. How many janitors have I got so far? I've got, well, I've got no janitors. So what we'll do is I we'll have to get a janitor and a second janitor. And we need those because what it said in the last level was that, uh, yeah, if there's an earthquake, then what might happen is, uh, yeah, the janitors need to rep repair those machines. So. I'm probably going to dive straight in actually and buy this hospital plot over here because it takes a bit of time to get it running um, and in the meantime what we'll do is we'll put a staff room in here um, yeah that's probably not the best shape but we'll put that in. I can actually fit that in there can't I yeah that fits so it's not ideal but you know it does the trick uh, everyone seems to come in by a helicopter I didn't realise that that's, that's quite a funny little uh part of this. Um, so they need sofas, don't they, obviously. You can't have a staff room without some sofas in to sit on. Um, but I'll give them an armchair as well, or two at least. You know, I get one in there. It's nice, it's nice to have a, a nice layout. Um, and let's get a rug in there, because everyone likes a rug. Um, just under everything. There we go, a nice rug um, and a couple posters for them to look at um, while they're sitting there waiting. So we'll get that in there, um, probably a clock as well, just in the corner, oh yeah, there we go, wasn't where I meant to put it, but that will do, um, and you know what, there's actually quite a lot of room in here, so I can get that drinks machine in there, and I can get that snack machine in there, might be able to get, you know, a couple, I don't know if they actually care the about the lockers, you know, or whether, whether it actually makes any difference. The um, I universe. can definitely, you know, like, I give them an exercise frame if they want to unwind with a bit of an exercise. And what's um, and for I'll for give them a bit source. more of a nicer area over here well, as well in that case. Um, keep them nice and warm as well with a couple of radiators in just a moment. Um, there we go. That's, I think that's, that's not too bad at all, actually. So there we go. Prestige level four. Oh, okay. So they're gonna, they should be, at least, Your very happy with this staff room, where I've given them a bit of everything. Where's my invalid item? Uh, oh yeah, it was that, that on there. Okay, that's fine. So they can get in and out of there. That's fine, we've got a nice staff room. Hospital isn't covering its costs. Yeah, I thought that might be the case. Fracture ward, yeah. If you've got five patients with humerus injury, yeah, I need the fracture ward for that. So yeah, I do have that. Um, I have a few people in here. Um, you're sorting out that. that. For some reason they had a fracture and yet they have to step the whole way into what looks like a coffin or a sarcophagus. So yeah, anyway, that's fine. So we've got, what have we got? We've got four people coming in, fracture patients. They're gonna walk in there. That yeah. seems a bit ridiculous really. You know, you've got a, you know, you've got fractures all over your arms and legs and yet you're just walking in, chilling. Looks like fractures on your heads as well, or are they beanies? I'm not really sure. Um, you're all wearing hoodies. I don't know if it's... Is it warm enough in here? Um, how can I tell if it's warm enough? Let's go to buy some radiators. Uh, well, it's not warm enough here. So what we'll do is we'll probably 
chuck in, let's chuck in a radiator there, there. Um, I think I may have over radiated in a few areas. Um, chuck one in there, and that's good. And still, my thermal comfort isn't correct. I think it's because I'm over radiated, you know. If I take that one out, does that improve the situation? I wonder whether. Dr. Hayward to the sheriff's office. Yeah, that. That's a bit overly dramatic on the radiator. I, I don't know why, but I got the impression that it was really cold. So, that's fine in there now. Can you go down there? How about you? Are you okay? I'm not sure if I need you at all, to be honest. No, I don't. Okay, that's nice. Um, right, how about you? I think I can take out one of these. Probably can take out both of these, you know. Oh yeah, that's fine. That's good. Oh, so I've got over my thermal comfort requirement. That's good. I'll take out this middle one, shall I? Perfect. Okay, so my thermal comfort is very good now. So I've done well. Okay, the patients are now complaining a little bit about, yeah, their facilities. So what we'll do is we'll get some benches in. You know, the problem is, I think in the last game, I turned up the speed too high. And it feels like nothing's happening, but... To be honest, there's a lot going on. It's just everyone kind of moves quite slowly. You kind of think, oh well, you know, I can speed it up and everything will be fine. We'll get two benches along there. But actually, you do need that time to really assess what's going on. So we'll get a drinks machine in there. People will be a bit happier with that. Snacks machine. Salty snacks machine as well. Um, and a nice bin. And... Uh, leaflet stand. I mean, we could do with a news agent, to be honest. Because um, this is all against this one wall, which isn't, to be honest, best. Um, we'll get a plant in there. That'll keep that nice. Plant in there. And let's see if we can get some more benches in as well. Um, so a nice bench in running out and there, the and a nice bench in there, and I think we need some over by the ward as well. For some reason, everyone just kind of stands outside the ward. You'd think that they'd go in and wait in there, but for some reason they wait out front of it. Um, that's fine. Um, do I need... maybe I can get a leaflet stand over here while people are waiting. Um, and then also, can I fit in some more machines over here? Yeah, I can. So I've got a nice salty snacks machine, drinks machine, and a snack machine. So everyone should be happy now, and a bin right next to it all. So no one should be complaining about, you know, lack of food. They could, I suppose, complain still about lack of entertainment. It's, it, it's quite boring, hospital, but I mean, are, are hospitals meant to be fun? I didn't really think so. Um... Okay, and what else do we need? We could do some more plants, couldn't we? So let's get a yucca in. Oh, yeah, very underplanted, especially for my uh, my liking. There we go. So I think we're we're doing oh well. We're, oh, we're making some money. So staff training required. Okay, so I need to get a staff training room. Um, I need to up my salary for these guys. Diagnosis decision. What's wrong with you? Um, yeah, you know, send them for patient treatment. He'll be fine. I'm sure he'll be okay. Uh, okay, he's got bog warts, so we need a pharmacy. So, I bought this area down here. So, what do I need in here? So, let's get in here. I need a pharmacy straight away, so maybe I should put that in as the top priority. Um, let's get you in there. Move <clears throat> you around a bit. I might put you there actually, that's probably a better place to put you. Um, yeah, no, no, I don't like that at all. So what we'll do is we'll get you and we'll put you in and we can spin you round, lovely, put you down there, lovely. So there we go, nice setup there, we'll just edit it so we can put in a few more amenities so that you're happier with it. Uh, we need to get it up to at least level two. Um, if not higher, if possible. Um, so radiator in there, get plants in there, uh, lightheadedness. You know, we didn't have anyone with lightheadedness in that last, uh, 
Well, maybe we did, and I just kind of forgot about it because I was too busy worrying about lack of lack of staff training, which is probably one of the next things I need to do in here as well. So you're at level three now, lovely. So I've got a pharmacy. So what we'll do is I'll probably get in. Yeah, let's get a training room in over here. So how am I going to lay this out? So I'll probably end up leaving like a three gap there. And then that leaves, it's just a little training room. Now that'll, that'll probably do it actually. Okay, so there, and then one in there, and then one in there. Can I put one in there as well? You know, I can fit in five in there actually. So that's good. Um, it's probably not the best. Oh, I got this encyclopedia bookcase too, didn't I? I mean, I don't know if that does anything. Oh, it's got me up to prestige level three, so it's gonna have done something good. Ah, uh, lovely. Um, and some hand sanitizer at the door. So good. So we've got a training room. So who wants training? One person wants. Ah, uh, now we've got two people on training. Do they? Um, do they? Was there two for training? Well, you want training. That's fine. Okay, so you're a nurse, student nurse. You've got one open position. You know what, let's get you with ward management because, you know, we could do with... Let's get you there um, and get two, two of you training on ward management. It's not a bad idea. So we've got three nurses and three doctors already. Um, I'm probably going to hire you, actually, because you've got pharmacy management. Um, we can upgrade the drug mixer, so we should do that. How do I do it? Oh, it's like that, is it? I mean, he's busy being treated, so hopefully he doesn't stop being treated. So, we'll promote you, promote you, you should be happier. Um, you'll probably be fine. You know, 74%. Uh, cure five patients. Oh, I only cured four of them. I still got a bit of money, which is good. I good thing. And I got some reputation and some more kudos, so that's not too bad. Uh, what's wrong with you? So, pandemic. Involuntary attachment to kitchen utensils. Okay. Uh, yeah, I probably I'm going to need a pan's lab, so I'll get him to wait. Um, 85% sure. Uh, yeah, send him for treatment. 78% sure. Send him for treatment. Why not? Potty mouth in the pharmacy. Okay, fine. So, pan's lab. I feel like that's one of the bigger rooms, unfortunately, isn't it? So, it's not a three by three. No, it's a four by four. Okay, well that's not not ideal, but you know. So is there a better location we can put that? Because it doesn't really work there, does it? I wonder if we can put it there. Do we still get three? I feel like we still get three by three in the corner, don't we? So we might just have to have a weirder area over here. Um. Let's see, can we flip you around like that? Maybe we want you like that, actually. Yeah, we want you like that. Um, we'll move the door a long one. Get some nice windows in. You can never have enough windows in my eyes. Um, and get some more amenities in here. So nice, always need the hand sanitizer. I think like having things like hand sanitizer will probably make the VIP or like the medical inspector like happier with you. Oh, I don't want that. I don't know why I'm putting in Putting in a sweet dispenser in the uh, pan extraction room. So what have we got here? So we've got pan extraction. I will want to upgrade you. Uh, hopefully I've got the janitor who can come along and do that. I've got two already. Got maintenance. Okay, you've got... You're quite good actually. We'll get you in there to do that straight away. That's good. Um, I don't actually, it looks like I haven't got a doctor. Oh, we've got some good doctors to hire. Okay, so I don't need to just train everyone this time because that was a real pain last time. I wasn't particularly happy with that, but there you go. So, what's wrong with you? Uh, requires a fracture ward. Yep, yeah, I've got one. Send them. Send patient for treatment. Okay, 66%, sure. Maybe you should wait a little bit longer. Let's see what other diagnostic room I put in. So I can put in a general diagnosis. So I wonder, can you block areas off in this game? So if I put that in there, no, because it's going to, yeah, I see. So it's going to block having a room at all. So what we'll do instead is we'll probably end up putting a room in there. 
and we might put another one in there. But we'll just have to see. We'll probably keep that as a, you know, an extreme case, as that shouldn't be our top. Okay, good. Um, examination table in there. Um, put a bit of weighing scales in there. I can, lovely. Um, and a big bin in the corner. Um, and this, I would say this hospital's coming on quite well. I'm gonna have to go over to the main area. Just a moment um, and check that we're okay. So, it's hoping to get up to a level three on all these rooms. So, let's see. There we go, lovely. So, we've got some training going on. Okay, so how are we doing here? So, this guy is very unhappy. What's wrong with you? Rage quitting. Happiness reached zero. Ah, okay. Um. Oh, right, okay, it's just not a, not a staff member, it's a patient. That's fine. So we'll hire, we need some more nurses really, don't we? Um, yeah, as I thought, I don't have, hmm, don't have any money. Okay, yeah, the reporter can come. Promote three staff, okay, I won that, well, that's good. So I've got to cure 40 more patients, what's wrong with you? You're happy or are you, what's the star for? on your head. I'm not really sure. So have I got any nurses? Um, staff promotion. Uh, student nurse. Yeah, there you go. So can you maybe get straight over to there? There we go. You're in there now. Um, yeah, I could do with another nurse. There we go. Okay, there we go. Um, promote you. Junior nurse to nurse. Lovely. And what have you been training in? Uh, you're another nurse, learning ward management. So we should have some good people in the wards now. Um, so that's good. So what's the queue situation like here? So we've got two people in that queue. I haven't got any benches over here still. So I'll get some of them in. Nurse, um, please go to the pharmacy. So how are we doing? Oh no, that's not going to go well at all, is it? Um, so let's get you over there. Um, let's get some more of these silver benches. never really have enough benches I find. Um, I wonder whether I can fit a news agent in or maybe I haven't got the money to be thinking about that kind of that kind of radical manoeuvre. Come on, there you go. Out you jump. Yeah, big jump. Off you go. Helicopter off it goes. It's a bit of a weird hospital this one. Mainly helicopter patients. Um, so, what else have we got to do? So we've got a promotion here. Bit of promotion, maybe a bit more, make you a bit happier. So some training, I don't know, I don't know, I think we're doing okay. So we've not got a huge amount of money. Um, right, so it looks like, where's the queue, is this, so there's a bit of a queue on the uh, card, is this card general diagnosis? Um, so I wonder whether, hmm, I haven't got much money, but what I'll do, so I'll probably do a diagnostics level two. Yeah, I can't afford you. I do have three people with diagnostics already. I do need a psychiatrist, so. Hmm, is there anyone available in here? Okay, there is, so. Oh, I haven't got any money. So I've got the tiniest amount of money and I just haven't got enough to afford anyone. So I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll probably leave it here for now. Uh, we've got the radio reporter walking around. Or is that what you are? Yeah, radio report is Sally Fig blan Blanket. Very happy to be looking at everything. Yeah. Um, we've got to cure another, you know, what is that? 36, 37 patients to to win this to win this one star on here. I think we're doing a lot better than last time. Um, people are needing drinks, but there's plenty of drink machines, so I'm not sure what that's about. We've got a bit more in the way of facilities and we haven't kind of crushed everything in too much. So we'll leave it here for now. We'll try and focus on this area down here, maybe buy another plot. Um, we're gonna run out of space very quickly, so I'm a bit worried about that. But thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.